Hey guys, we're back here at Thor, another day. Uh, today we're gonna be discussing another fiber optic distribution system. Uh, again, we have, this reel of fiber is not hooked up, but we have 10 kilometers of fiber in this box uh, using single mode fiber. Uh, we're using a DVD player over here, uh, shooting a movie. And what we're using today are these little gizmos. These are baseband over fiber kits. Uh, this is a single input analog uh, PAL or NTSC. Uh, this is a transmitter for your fiber and these come equipped with RS-45. So these are a little bit archaic. They're a little bit more old school. Uh, these days we have some HD technology like I tried finding an analog camera from way back in the day that uses baseband. Uh, and we don't have one here. So uh, again, showing you a newer HD camera. On a lot of these cameras, you'll have a Phoenix terminal, which can be used for RS control. If you have a control unit, uh, remote control, or however you want to do it. Um, again, this is a newer camera. We don't have an old analog one to show you. Uh, so we're using literally the yellow, red, and white composite cables coming from the Blu-ray. It's going into this unit. It's going over the fiber. From the fiber, we're literally going to connect from the TV. We're going to connect to this unit. So if I plug in the first first channel, we should have the DVD player up and running like so. And again, we don't have audio connected because that would necessitate that these have uh, the white and red uh, inputs. But we do have units like this. Uh, if you can see here, the Phoenix terminals over here, they also have analog included uh, with audio uh, and data. So we do have a plethora of products that can do a variety of different things. So if you needed RS-422, if you needed um, audio left and right, uh, all sorts of different options in case you guys do need that. But the base systems, the smaller uh, kits that we offer, single channel, dual channel, quad channel, eight channel, 16 channel. Um, again, standard RS-485 with your baseband composite input. Uh, again, so this is gonna come out looking a little bit uh, oldish, if you will. Um, it's a, a, a legacy technology at best. Um, again, people that use security apparatuses a little bit older, they're gonna be using this kind of transmission system. So if you have a big old warehouse with old cameras, this would be ideal. So you can transmit all your cameras back to your head end and watch them over video surveillance. Again, uh, these cameras, these new ones are pretty awesome using RS control, uh, but we don't have one. So I can't really show you what it would look like. Um, but I just wanted to show you the RS control on the back of cameras because that's what most of them are used for. Again, if you have baseband or composite in any format, uh, we also have a actual pattern generator. So if I connect to the second input, we have a pattern generator hooked up over here. And again, just color bars, pattern generator. And it, you know, you can kind of scroll through and it'll show you all the different patterns. Uh, I'm surprised we have one of these that works. My guess it was made somewhere in the 70s or 80s. Uh, if you can believe that it's pretty old, still laying around, but it works great for color bars. Uh, again, there's not going to be that much use for composite and baseband anymore. It is a bit legacy considering that we have anything from, you know, SDI, HDMI, everything's digital now. Uh, but there's a lot of people that still use these kind of systems all over the world. So if you are one of these people that still have some legacy systems sitting around, you can still use them over fiber optic transmission, make use of your current equipment. No other installation is necessary. Again, these are very compact devices, you know, about the size of my hand or so. Uh, LED lights come on there uh, to show you the fiber link and the video channel connection. Very easy to use, plug and play. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing to them, uh, front and back. Very easy to use, just hook up your cables and your wires and you guys will be set in no time. All right, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, you can always check out all the other devices we have online at thorbroadcast.com. Reach out to us, 1-800-521-8467 if you'd like to discuss any applications or projects you're working on. And I hope everybody has fun while they're still staying home. Um, and again, reach out if you guys are working on anything. Thanks.